the third book that I picked up, I had actually read it after Six of Crows and before Odriel's heirs, Sadie. And Sadie is the story of a girl who has gone missing. And you, t- you see half the story from her perspective. And she's kind of an unreliable narrator because she's not telling you all that she knows. The other half of the story is told by, from the perspective of this podcaster or radio show as they are trying to find her and bring her home. It is a hard hitting story. It is uh, more of a contemporary piece of fiction as opposed to a genre fiction, which is what I typically end up going for. I'm more for fantasy and sci-fi and uh, mysteries. And I loved this book a lot. It was really good. Sadie has a great voice uh, as a character um, when you're hearing her from her perspective. Uh, I liked how all of the characters looked one way when this person saw them, but the reality was another thing. And you really do get a feel for the fact that everybody has a second side to their life, the one that they don't really show. And in some cases, that that can be a dark, dark thing. I would definitely recommend reading Sadie. And actually, I would more recommend listening to the audiobook of Sadie because you get a lot of different voice acting in there. If you're listening, if you're just reading the book, you don't quite get the feel of the radio show as much. I don't think I listen to it as an audiobook and having all those different voices interact through the radio show just made that part come alive to me. So I would recommend looking at the audiobook. Uh, and if you're not a big fan of audiobooks, just pick up the actual book because you should definitely read it and you should definitely know what this book is about because it's a real issue in the real world. Several of them, actually. So thank you very much for listening to my reviews. And go read some more.